I'm going to make this short because I haven't got much time and my camera just died about three times that I've recorded this video. So, I just have the personal view that if someone has um, come up to you and kind of said, you're a devil worshipper or something along those lines, which is not 100% correct, um, first of all, you need to take it onto your own backs as to... Are they approaching you just to take the mickey? Are they approaching you because they are actually bothered? Or are they approaching you because um, they are obviously of a religious enemy? <laughs> For example, they're Christian and just saying it because they want you to obviously go over to Christianity. Um, you have to kind of take it as not a thing that i found that what you have to do is kind of understand where ignorance, the line of ignorance lies and you shouldn't, I know some people out there have the public opinion that they should um, educate the public whenever possible. I personally don't believe that. I personally believe that if someone is being ignorant, they don't deserve your time um, to explain your beliefs to them. Um, they, if they're, if they're de definitely um, trying to just pee you off, um, first of all, I wouldn't even bother anyway and I'd just walk away. Because at the end of the day, no matter how wrong they are, they are always going to perceive themselves as correct unless you continue to badger on and on, badger on. It just really isn't worth it. What is their um, stupidity being changed going to cause gain within you? Um, it's kind of like the fact that Christians always try and convert people. Um, I try not to be that, so I feel that if someone is generally interested, of course I'll share information, I'll try and help them out, lend them a few books, um, but there is a point where you've got to say, you know what, this is a bit, you're taking the mick now, um, and I just can't, I just don't have the time or the sanity to be providing you with helpful information um, continuously for you to just kind of throw it out the door. I mean, I've experienced it many times with people who are interested in Wicca, and and they have been there f to be positive and learn stuff and they've really just took the mick. Um, not m not seriously like because they wanted to, but they have just not got the interest. And at the end of the day, if someone is badgering on that you're a devil worshipper and they just have the wrong information on you and your beliefs, you have to take into consideration whether you can be bothered or whether this person deserves the respect um, back when they are not giving you the respect to you. And I know this may sound a bit bitchy to some people, but at the end of the day, you have to stand up for yourself and sometimes um, explaining yourself when you don't need to explain yourself um, is unnecessary. People should respect you for who you are and I think it's time that we took a stand in kind of saying, you know what, if you aren't here to listen to me speak out and share my beliefs with you, then I ain't really going to be bothered with you because I don't have any respect for you because there's no respect for me and my beliefs. And I just think that's where there is a bit of a breakdown in the community and when some people look a bit loony because they just, people are just digging to take the mick and some people within the community just don't understand when people are taking the mick. And I, I just don't understand that. So, that's my quick video. Um, questions below. We'll come back. I mean, all week now. Um, there's a few things been happening. Family issues. Um, Christmas. Um, Yule. Um, other different things that have been going on. Work has been hectic. Uni has been hectic. So, before this video shuts off on me, I am going to run and get all my last minute Christmas shopping. Yule shopping sorted. And then continue with my uni work. So, have a great week. Have a great weekend. And I'll see you next Thursday on The Pagan Perspective. Let's be peace out.